How do you actually read a file in Kotlin from your assets directory? Now it's a very simple and, and easy way to do this, but um, I've looked all across the internet one time to even find a way to do this and couldn't find it in Kotlin. Now you can do it in Java. It's like uh, like 20 lines or so to do it, but I wanted to find you know, a one or two liner in Kotlin. And a great way to do that is to get the context over here, uh, the application context, and then do assets to bring up the assets directory. Now you're opening a file. Now we have in our assets, now to get your assets, you just do right click and uh, create a directory. Name assets does it on its own. And then you put in the name, which is text file that text. Now we have our assets directory. Now you, you might be turning this to a file and, and doing a buffer reader and doing all that type of stuff, but Colin has it covered there. You have a buffered reader right here. And then we can do use, I believe, yes. And then it's dot read text. So what we're doing is we're pretty much taking the context for, for, to opening the assets file. We're opening a file. I think that gives you a type of input stream. Okay. Doing a buffered read, reader so we can read it. And then we're kind of just um, reading it through use. I'm not actually exactly sure how use works, but um, yeah, it, it just reads the, uh, from the buffered reader somehow I don't know but um and now we just get the it dot read text and we're, re we're, re we're returning that so we have the, the file text and we'll make sure that's a string I know it's, that's a string and we have the file text now I'll need to show you this this is going to show you exactly what the file text says and it's, it says I'm a text file this will read it um it's like a um, you can make it a one-liner if you want, but it's not readable that way, really. So a good three-liner to read a file from your assets directory.